to your laser eye surgery explanation. Doctor does this type of surgery at the Peninsula Eye Clinic in Claremont. It does not take place in an actual theatre, it takes place in what we refer to as the laser suite. Once doctor has confirmed that you are either a suitable candidate for LASIK or PRK, we will be able to proceed with your booking. On the morning of the surgery, you are allowed to take any medication that you are taking as per normal. If you are wearing contact lenses, we would like you to arrive at the clinic without your contact lenses. When you get to the front of the clinic, your name will be on Dr. Alexic's list. The staff at the clinic will offer you what we refer to as a small chill pill. It's just in general, when you get eye surgery done, everyone tends to be a little bit nervous. So this tablet is not going to knock you out completely, it's going to just take the edge off things. Doctor himself will check the laser machine before each and every patient. He will also himself punch your details into the laser machine. You will lie on a flat bed, your head will be in a little ring-like cushion. You will look into a set of lights that will be approximately 30 to 35 centimeters away from your face. We usually explain to patients, it will feel like you are lying on the pitch in Greenpoint Stadium. Everybody left, but they left the lights on. So you'll see this ring of yellow lights with a black sky and your fixation target will be a red light. Doctor does this surgery one eye at a time. The eye that's not being operated on will be covered with a drape. First of all, just so that you know, it's a completely painless procedure. At one time, doctor will do, you will feel something that will feel as if someone is doing this. That's when Dr. Alexic marks the eye. You don't have to worry about keeping your eye open all the time. You will use a small speculum to keep the eye open. When you leave the clinic, you will receive a bag with three sets of drops, as well as a schedule on how to use the drops. Best advice is when you get home, go and sleep for about two hours. That will speed up your healing process. Very important to use your drops as prescribed, as we do not want you to get an infection. If you um, had LASIK done for that first night or two, please sleep with the shields on so that you don't accidentally bump, bump or rub your eye. Following day, you'll have a follow-up appointment at our consultation rooms. You will, we will be able to then see that your flap, in, case the, in the case of LASIK, is regular without wrinkles and that your vision is starting to increase and we do also want to check that you do not have any sign of an infection. Now it's important to realize the difference between LASIK and PRK. Your visual outcome will be the same, but with PRK, we'll only start to judge your visual outcome three to four weeks after surgery. You'll experience a lot of um, fluctuation. One day the one eye will be good, then the other eye will be good, then both eyes is not so good. Um, so you need to be a little bit more patient with BRK as it will take you three to four weeks where a person that had LASIK will already enjoy that type of vision the first or second day after surgery. For BRK patients, we also do want to see them three to four days after surgery again to remove the bandaged contact lens. Now with this type of surgery, we do want to follow you up six times throughout the following year. Normally, it's the day after surgery, three to four weeks later, then normally three months, six months, and then just before the year is over. Now, what we also must understand, we doctor work on a human tissue. We can have the same amount of laser on the same amount of refractive error, but we need to keep in mind, how is your tissue going to heal? Are you going to slightly overheal or underheal? We don't judge that straight away in terms of refractive error. We wait three to six months for everything to to kind of even out before you we judge your um, refractive error. We sometimes explain it to, to people, say for example, me and you, we go, both go to the beach, we in the same amount of sun for let's say 30 minutes, you have a nice tan and I am like a lobster rig. It was the same amount of energy, the same amount of time, but our skin reacted differently. If we do see six months down the line that you did end up with what we call a residual error, 0.5 to this side, 0.5 to the other side, and it is bothering you, and you have enough corneal tissue, we'll take you back to the same clinic, if it's within a year after the initial date of surgery, doctor will do what we refer to as a top-up, 
you'll just fine tune that small refractive error. And that will be not on your account, that is on doctor's account. Now, with regards to the follow up visits, we want you to attend those follow ups not just because we want to see you again. We want you to monitor the shape and the regularity of your cord. You might feel like, but it's three months down the line, I can see, why must I go back? It's because we want to repeat the, that colorful scan, one that you can see here. We do want to repeat it every time you come so that we can monitor the thickness and the regularity, as I said. Now, also, what do we not want? We don't want you to get an infection because there's side threatening infections especially in water, that's why two to three weeks after the surgery, avoid public swimming pools, avoid um, germs, anywhere where there's an excessive amount of germs, avoid touching or rubbing your eye with a, with a dirty tissue. And for ladies, we say also, uh, just back on that, you need to use your drops. You have an antibiotic drop that will keep that area clean from bugs. For ladies, we normally say don't use eye makeup for, the, uh, for about a week or two. It's not because of the actual makeup, it's because we don't want you to press on the eye to remove the makeup and therefore maybe damaging your eye. Second thing is, you need to understand, age 45, 46, you'll start to wear reading glasses. That's not because you had the laser done, that's a normal general aging process. 